you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the best budget beast in the game right now. Now, guys, we've been missing out. I haven't been on top of the whole budget beast front lately. Like, I haven't been really looking at them. I went on today to look at some of the new Team of the Week cards. Madden's dropping some heat at the budget position. I don't know if you guys know in years past, budget cards are rare. Like, you find that one guy with really good stats. Like, you were so excited that one guy from every collection that was just amazing. There's a lot of good budget cards this year that, like, literally, I'm actually going to buy one. I think I'm actually going to buy one of them. He's, like, a 79 overall, but I think I have a great role on my team. I couldn't believe how many cards. Like, I kind of wish I had a budget squad just to use these cards. They're pretty awesome, not going to lie. My whole list is completely different than the first time I did it because there's just been so many new options in this game that I just can't not change the whole list up. A lot of better cards than what I saw the first time. I still have the number one guy still sitting there. I mean, I can't really replace him yet until I see something better, although I might have seen something better. But the speed's still not there. But I'll get into all that, guys. Before we get into this video, if I only do two videos today, it's because I do have school today and madden servers have been down literally all morning so it delayed my whole morning of my schedule that i usually have but before we get into this video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up boys Let's get this to 200 likes you guys have been smashing the like button and if you guys could so kindly turn on that noti bell let's get to 2000 noti gang and hit that subscribe button boys we're getting closer to 9k by the day let's keep grinding out and let's go for 10k by next month now guys get into this video so number 10 on the list is a guy that I refer to as budget, although it's maybe a lot of people he might not be the most budget. But again, it all it's all it's all it's all preference, right? What you actually view as budget, and it's not the Marius Thomas. I'm just going for comparison. It's Randy Moss power up. This Randy Moss power up probably cost me a little over 100k, not even, probably a little over 100k. But for a 90 over a wide receiver, I mean, that's why he's at number 10, right? I can't call him like full blown budget, but I think this is one of the best receivers in the game for really cheap. That is someone on a budget. But again, this is just number 10. The other ones are going to be a lot cheaper. This is just someone I had to throw in there because look at those stats. 90 speed, 91 jumping, 87 catching, 83 catch in traffic, 88 spec catch, 81 short route running, 83 medium route running, and 90 deep route running. This card's just a beast all around. I just had to throw them in there. I thought I thought I had to, literally. like That card is on, and that card's insane. And so far, he's done really well for me online. I'll fully get to test him out on Weekend League this upcoming week. But for the time being, boys, let's go to number 10, um, number 9 on the list. Dante Jackson. 85 overall cornerback he's got 90 speed that will be able to run with the fastest wide receivers in the game and not to mention he has really good agility like he's a he's an athletic beast 90 speed 86 excel 90 agility 86 jumping athletically this guy's a stud he looks like a running back now although his coverage may not be the best 81 man is doable if you're bl if you're blitzing a lot and you're running man a lot 81 could be usable and be able to be coverable considering the 90 speed. I think Dante Jackson is a budget beast. I'm a big fan of that card. Like I said, I wish I could build a, I wish I actually had a budget team to really just try some of these guys out on. But the stats look pretty insane to me. Next on the list, Aaron Jones. I hope I spelled Aaron right, yup. Aaron Jones, 37K, 84 overall. Look at these stats right here. He obviously might be better than Philip Lindsay. I think he is. This card is going to replace Philip Lindsay on the list. Again, this isn't really in any order. I'm just numbering them. But if it wasn't order, Aaron Jones would be better than Lindsey now. They got almost the same speed, but Aaron Jones is 88 acceleration. That's insane. 87 agility, insane. 85 carrying, pretty good. 59 catching, underwhelming. 70 elusiveness, 79 trucking, 74 break tackle. This is a stronger, better acceleration, better athleticism version of Lindsey. Although he does not come in with abilities, I really do like this Aaron Jones card. I think that's one of the best budget running backs you can get in this game. People are in a comment about Cohen and stuff, but Cohen's played out. That's months ago. These are the new cards. Now, next on the list, a guy that has been on this list since day one. You, how can you take Jamal Adams off this list? You power that guy off for pretty cheap with power pass. You can probably get this card for damn near free. He's at 82 speed, 81 excel, 74 tackling, 85 play rec, 83 pursuit, 79 man, 80 zone, 86 hit power. That's a lot of 80s considering his overall. And the fact that he can hit, he's fast, and he can play zone. I think he's a beast. I still use him on my team as a, a linebacker in the box at times when he comes down for Ken Houston. And again, not too much to say about him because I've spoken about him maybe 150 times. But just remember, I love that card. And if you guys need any strong safeties, I think that's kind of the uh, recommendation on some more Team of the Weeks come out that 
contest with that. Now, this new Taylor Gabriel actually just dropped. He did go off this week, and it's it was fair that they gave him a card. He's got 89 speed, 89 jumping, 82 catching, 73 catching traffic, 80 spec catch, 81 short route running. This guy looks like a streak specialist. He looks like a slant specialist. He's looking really good, really fast. He's faster than pretty much everyone on my team besides, obviously, my brand new wide receivers because they are above 90 overalls, obviously, and they're one of the faster guys. But, like, DeAndre Hopkins faster. Same speed as Tyree Kill. He's, he's honestly better than Tyree Kill. He, yeah, he is pretty much better than Tyree Kill. He beats him in a lot of stats. That's my point. Taylor Gabriel is a cheap Tyreek Hill. Honestly, I don't even know why I still have Tyreek Hill. I've made it very clear that I really don't think he's worth it anymore. But again, it's name brand. I like him and I'm hoping for an upgrade at some point. Okay, let's go to this next. This guy, I think I'm going to buy right now actually on camera. I do definitely want this guy. So Darren Waller at number five. Tight end, 78 overall on the, on the Raiders. I think I'm actually going to buy him. Because if you guys look at my tight end position here, unless there's a better uh, Evan Ingram, I don't have a backup tight end. And it's kind of disgusting. Like Travis Kelsey plays backup tight end for me. And I really need someone who could actually play. I don't know if I'm going to either buy him or Evan Ingram. I don't know if there's a better Evan Ingram. But he is 2 point, he's 2.9k. With an 83 speed, 80 catch in traffic, 84 spec catch. What does that look like to you? My George Kittle. Almost the same speed. Similar catch, better catch in traffic, better spec catch. The route running is subpar, I know. But his speed is game breaking. You get him on like a little slow, a little short route. Especially the second time. Like the first time it might be covered. The second tight end is almost never covered. That's why Kelsey's always wide the hell open. But he's so bad that he just drops it or he can't run with it afterwards. But I'm going to have to come back to him. I'm going to look for Engram first because I'm a Giants fan. Next, obviously, was that Kittle, actually. So let's go back to him. I still do love this George Kittle as a tight as a budget beast tight end. He doesn't cost much to get because I use power passes on him. And then you can just pass his 86 overall with training of 700. It's really cheap to get him. 82 speed. About 80 catching. 80 run block. All I care about is that his run block's high and his speed's high. That's pretty much the selling point for me there because I need a fast head end that could also block the line because I run a lot. But not too much to say on him because, again, I've spent so much time on him. Now, next on this list, hopefully I get his name right, Hollywood Brown. I really love this card. Honestly, that Taylor Gabriel might be a little bit better, but this card right here, that 91 speed, kind of game-breaking. Again, you compare him to Tyree Kill. He's a faster Tyree Kill. Can't catch as well, can't route run as well. But this, I'm, I, I like the Ravens. I like what they're doing with Marquise Brown. I've been a fan of him, so gotta have him on this list. I, the 91 speed is just insane. That's up to par with Torrey Holt, who is right up there for the fastest receiver in the game. And so is Randy Moss, obviously. But for the price of what, 6K? I don't think you can go wrong with that. If you're just building this first team, guys like Marquise Brown, Waller, Gabriel, Jones, you can make a pretty good playing offense without really breaking bank this year, which I really do like. Now this guy is a guy that if you guys have his rookie premiere you probably don't even have to go out and get this card as you can see my Devin Bush is a 79 overall I don't know what it started with but I know it wasn't I don't think it was that but like you guys see 85 speed 86 excel 68 strength 77 tackle 77 play rec those stats don't really matter 81 hit power so he's got good hit power 85 speed 86 excel what else do you need you're gonna probably use him anyways so as a user linebacker he's right up there with the Devin Whites and the Shaziers Obviously, he doesn't have the other defensive stats, but if you're using him, it doesn't entirely matter too much because you're going to be you're gonna be the one controlling him while you need his speed and your own ability. Now, next on this list, we got top guy again. That Again, I think at this point, it's kind of... I don't think I want to call him a top guy anymore. I think he can test with this guy now. I just didn't update that part of the list because I, was, I didn't, had no intentions to change him. But if we go down to Aaron Jones... Aaron Jones and the last guy is going to be, of course, Philip Lindsay, which I've had on this list all year because he has abilities on him. For a running back with those stats, 86 speed, 83 excel, 83 agility, 84 carrying, with built-in abilities, he's been pretty awesome. But I think Aaron Jones might take his spot as the number one guy on this list. Although Philip Lindsay is going to make the list, I just don't know if he's number one anymore. I think Aaron Jones will have to take that. Do you guys agree? I think so. Aaron Jones has almost the same speed, way better excel, way better agility, better carrying, better break tackle, better trucking. He has better almost everything except for speed by one and elusiveness by a little bit but like other than that this card's kind of a beast i really do love this card better strength same awareness and there's not much else to say and he's aaron jones i like him in real life guys that is about it for the video remember it was randy moss power up dante jackson aaron jones jamal adams taylor gabriel darren waller george kittle hollywood brown devin bush and philip Lindsay. 
that is it for the video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys did enjoy and if you did not see yesterday's videos i did pull my player from my house rewards so go check that out but before this we get out of this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up to get this video to 200 likes turn on that noti bell hit that subscribe button boys you won't regret it and comment down below anyone that i left off this list that you'd like to see on here but that's about it thank you guys so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day i'm out peace